whole thing's going to be painted anyway. So on foam and stuff, I use this. This is uh, this is a Pro Deck, Pro Deck Advanced Decorators Tape. It's a low tack tape. I'll be masking off just like that, and then this part will be ready for spray painting. We come to this part now, it needs rubbing down, but there's nothing stopping me. Start masking off. I'm not bothered if it goes on the back here black or on the front here in black. It's a tiny amount of spray I'll be using, so I'm not too concerned about this front end, the motor and everything. I mean, I could mask it off, but there's no real point. Probably a bit of overkill, but I'm not too, too worried about it. Okay, it's good. So we've got this piece, we've got this piece. And we're going to spray them black. We're going to give them a quick rub down. So I've got some sandpaper here. This is 120 grit. It's maybe a bit over the top. So if you just do it really lightly. Ready to be sprayed. <clears throat> Give me a second and I'll bring it back. Right, so I've just brought that back. It's still wet. It's a matte paint. As you can see, it's still glossy. So I've got to let that dry. Sand this down again with a finer grit. Put some more filler over this area and spray it again. I've just decided though that I am going to paint this so I need to mask this off and give it a spray. Right, let's go spray it. Right, so that's all done. Uh, something I noticed that this side had slightly started to react to the paint. Now that is my fault because being an idiot, it's extremely cold outside. The paint's in the garage. I picked up the can, gave it a couple of shakes and started spraying in my impatience. Now what that meant is that a lot of the propellant, which is of course corrosive to foam, came out. And I must confess I laid it on a bit thick, but it looks okay, it looks as though it will survive. This part I did completely differently. I gave it a very light sanding. 
heated the kale up by, by heating it up I mean I kept it warm in my hands gave it a good old shake for about five ten minutes different you know, different shakes different angles it's got ball bearing in there and you could hear that it was just in fluid then sprayed it and very light sprays multiple light sprays and it's come up much better so this was my stupidity and this bit here but it uh, doesn't matter the other thing I realised is I didn't take this off very well around here so some of the sprays gone onto the white foam so there's going to be a speckle of grey black I should be able to take that off with some tape and possibly on this other side as well but I won't know until I take all the masking tape away so let's leave that to dry, a good dry, it needs about an hour then we'll take the masking tape away and see what we've got left OK, this is our time, it's getting a bit dark now, it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday let's take this off now, even though this is a decal, yeah that's fine no. Okay, so it's not brilliant. This is still indented. So that's now ready. If anything, I've gone a bit OTT because <laughs> I had some spray here so I've completely covered this up and I will be priming it first because I've added quite a bit more so I'll prime that then give it a good old black spray okay so it's had a grey primer on it I filled it in a bit more rubbed it down again so now I'm going to take it outside and spray it with this paint you get a big can of this, 500 millilitres, half a litre there. They're about seven pounds, seven British pounds. They're fantastic for spraying on aircraft. It also says here on the top, for best results, use grey primer, which I have done. Oh, well, that's the spray paint done. No great big gouging anymore. <laughs> Just gonna let that dry now because it's a matte paint and it's glossy because it's wet. And while that's drying, I think we'll have a go at the wings. I want to do something on the underside of those wings. I'm quite happy with the wing at the top. It's the underside I want to take a look at. And I want to see how best I can introduce black striping black bars to the underside of the wing without having to spoil anything. I think what I can do is probably... Yeah, so there's a few things to do here. First off, I must say, if I haven't said it in the unboxing, this hinge is really well laminated. That's great. And the flaps... If I can get them to move... are also extremely well laminated yeah I think three bars starting from this servo coming this way three or four bars maybe two wide ones two thin ones I really don't want to cover up any of the decal here but I might have to just cut this piece short with a bar there or see if I can peel it back and put it over the bar 
because you won't notice it while you're flying. that's what we're looking at I don't think it spoils it at all so I'll get on and do that one okay I'm pretty happy with those they're not perfect they're not 100% but they're okay they're sort of in line with each other like that so they'll look equal on the wings that's my OCD kicking in what I do want to do though is take a look at the tail plane because I don't think there'll be anything I can do with that well, I got the tailplane out, the horizontal stabiliser and elevator, that's the top, and that's the bottom. And I can't really put black striping on it without spoiling these decals, stickers really. And to be honest, I don't think it's going to need it. And if I leave it like that... Uh, it just keeps tipping forward, sorry about that. But if I leave it like that, the wing tips match this. And the main wing will have the stripes, which will be absolutely fine. Also, it's got a bright, or bright, it's got an orange colour like this. FMS written down the fuselage. You can just about make it out of the picture here. So with that all combined, I should be perfectly alright. So I'm not going to bother doing anything with that part. So we'll close this video off now. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay well. And I do hope you'll come and join me in part three when we'll start putting this baby together. Cheers.